Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gold's Bible King Gamer here. This is your match reaction. France won. Italy 3. I mean, France completely, completely got destroyed in this match. I mean, look, it took the lead in the first minute. You're thinking France are just going to cruise in this match. Barcola gave them the lead. But after that, they just completely collapsed, I thought. Italy was really, really good. They were really fantastic. DeMarco, uh, Fratesi, Raspadori. I mean, it was insane performance. Insane performance from all these guys. If, if, if Fratesi is your man of match, make sure you smash a like. I thought he was magnificent. He was magnificent. He scored a second goal. He was, he was everywhere in this game. He was everywhere in this game. And look, I don't know what to make of this. Is this Italy being back? Are they officially back or is it France being really bad? I just don't know what to make of this. Of course, we're going to see the second game and the third game in this competition to know exactly if Italy are fully back or if France are just crumbling at this moment in time. But look, crazy, crazy, crazy results. Uh, take a look at this now. This is what the, the, the group looks like. Belgium also have won their match against Israel and they are second. Italy have won against France. They are first uh, three points because they won their game away from home. The next game now, bro, the next game for France is against Belgium. They cannot afford to lose that match. They have to win that match now. They just have to win that match because if they lose that, if they lose that, I think they're going to be in big trouble in terms of winning this group and, and qualifying automatically to the semifinals. So, disappointing night. Disappointed, disappointing night for Kylian Mbappe. Disappointing night for, for the whole front three. I mean, Griezmann was struggling. Uh, Mbappe was struggling today. Uh, everybody up front. Olise was struggling today. Fofana and Kante just couldn't control the match. And defensively, defensively make a bad mistake. Saliba, they, they told us the best defender in the Premier League. He's not the best defender in the Premier League. He makes a mistake. He makes a mistake inside. I don't know. He makes a lot of mistakes. He made a lot of mistakes in this in this match as well. For the DeMarco goal, for Tessie goal, he made a lot of mistakes. So Arsenal fans, just hold your gun. Hold your gun. Don't 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 say don't say that he's one of the best defenders. He's not. He's, a, he's just a decent defender. He's just a decent defender. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment sections what you think about this game. Who's your man of the match? Let me know in the comment sections. It was a ridiculous match. But in the end, I felt like Italy uh, deserved to take all three, uh, three points. They, they deserve completely to take all three points. At halftime, I was saying France needed to make a change because the way I looked at the first half, Italy completely dominated the possession, dominated the ball, and it started to cause more problems to France. But France just couldn't deal with it in the first half. And boy, oh boy, they did not make any change in the second half. They continued with the same team. And guess what? They suffered in the second half. And that's when the second and third goal came in. By the time he started to make changes, Didier Deschamps, it was too little too late. So, yeah. Lessons. Big, big lessons. Big, big lessons uh, for France to take away from this match. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment sections. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that like on the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. That is it, people. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace.